Time Walk With Me. Hey everybody, welcome back to Time Walk With Me. I am the Time Walker, and this is a deck that I feel like I've made a few times because I really like cloning stuff. It is led by Morit of the Frost. Morit is a 0-0 legendary snow shapeshifter with changeling that costs 2 generic, 1 green, and 2 blue mana to cast. Its main ability is to enter the battlefield as a copy of any permanent you control, except it's a legendary and snow in addition to its other types. It gets 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it if it's a creature, and it gets to keep changeling. That means that you can cast it as a creature, an enchantment, an artifact, a battle, a planeswalker, or a land. If you have something and you want another one, Marit is down for it. If you need for Marit to be something else, and it's already something, you'll need to bounce it. Some of the cards in this category don't care what Marit has become, while others need it to be a creature. Most of these cards can also be used on opponent's permanents. Obelisk of Undoing at 6 mana, the cost of this ability is a bit high, but it could end up being a small price to pay to change your copied basic land into a copied Blightsteel Colossus. Boomerang. This contrasts well with Obelisk being very cheap to cast, but not a permanent, but it can also target an opponent's permanence. Portal of Sanctuary. Erratic Portal. Crystal Shard. This and Erratic Portal return a creature cheaply and can target opponent's creatures, but unless your opponent is completely tapped out, there's no point in using it on them. And Dispersing Orb. This is another potentially offensive or defensive card. It's a little odd for a blue card to require a sacrifice, but the color pie wasn't as set in 2002 as it is now. This is a sort of anything you can do, I can do better deck. Though Marit can only copy things you control, many of these give you copies of things your opponents control. So even though everyone else is limited to one copy of every card that isn't a basic land, you will not be. Vesuvian Doppelganger. There's a lot of text on this card, but the oracle text clarifies it. It's a 0-0 shapeshifter with, you may have Vesuvian Doppelganger enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it doesn't copy that creature's color, and it has, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may have this creature become a copy of target creature, except it doesn't copy that creature's color, and it has this ability. It's still, I guess, not all that clear, but clear. True Polymorph. This is a really good card to use against an opponent with a problematic commander. Clever Impersonator. This creature is a bit like Morit, except it can't copy lands, but it can copy any non-land permanent no matter who controls it. If you get it out before Morit, Morit can copy this and therefore get around its restriction. Shameless Charlatan. With this, you can change Marie to any creature on the battlefield whenever you want to, as long as you have three mana to spare. Astral Dragon. It's really no wonder why this dragon is so expensive to cast. It gives you two copies of target non-creature permanent, and makes them into flying 3-3 dragons. Body Double. This one is unique in that it copies any creature in any graveyard. Mirror Maid. This cheap enchantment enters the battlefield as any artifact or enchantment on the battlefield. And since it doesn't target, it can become something with Hexproof, Shroud, or Ward. Mirror Mockery. I think you're supposed to put this on an opponent's creature so that you get a copy of it to block that creature whenever it attacks. This will usually mean the creatures kill each other, which is fine I guess since you each lost just one card. But if you're clever, you'll put it on something with a good enters the battlefield trigger, even one of your own creatures, and don't kill the creature you put it on. Heck, put it on Astral Dragon and you'll get two 3-3 dragon versions of any non-creature permanent every turn. Absorb Identity. Nice Blightsteel Colossus. Now it's gone and I have four of them. Clone. You can't go wrong with a good old-fashioned clone in any blue deck. Mercurial Pretender. This clone can save itself from dying and live to clone another day. Mirror Image. This is a cheap clone that's restricted to copying your own creatures. Cryptoplasm. This is like a cheap version of Vesuvian Doppelganger, except it's stuck as a regular 2-2 creature until the upkeep after you cast it, and it copies the creature's color, not that the color will usually matter. Sometimes it will, though. Doppelgang. The more targets you pay for, the more confusing this card will get. You get X copies of X target permanents, each target costing 3 mana. Choosing one creature will cost 5 mana, two creatures will cost 8, three will cost 11, and so on. If one of those targets is a Crater Hoof Behemoth, you will most likely win. Identity Thief. 
Whenever this creature attacks, it gets a blocker out of the way. It's a way to attack with a creature that has Defender, though most of those don't have much power, so maybe don't do that unless it's just for the sake of doing it. Myogen of Cryptic Dreams. You have to hard cast this to get the benefit of its ability, but it's a pretty good benefit copying a permanent spell that you control three times. Blade of Shared Souls. This is good if you need a temporary copy of a creature, or if you want to copy something that has a harmful enters the battlefield trigger like Phage the Untouchable. Oko the Trickster. This guy makes your creatures bigger and can turn into an invincible version of a creature you control. Copy Enchantment. Does someone have an annoying smothering tithe or Ristic Study? Now you do too. Spark Double. This can copy any of your creatures, and if the creature you copy is legendary, the Spark Double copy isn't, so they both get to live. Vesuvian Shapeshifter. This is a morphing version of Vesuvian Doppelganger. It copies any creature on the battlefield whenever it enters the battlefield or is flipped face up, and it can flip back down during your upkeep if you want it to copy something else. Mirror Hall Mimic slash Ghastly Mimicry. The front side of this is basically the same thing as Clone, but the back side is an aura that gives you a copy of Enchanted Creature at the beginning of your every upkeep. Blue is very good at keeping your hand full. For that matter, so is green. Sensei's Divining Top. It's not as good as Sylvan Library, but it's still pretty good. And if you stack the abilities right, you can draw a card and then look at the top three cards of your library and restack them, putting the top a little further down. Draconic Lore. The idea here is that you'll have a shapeshifter with Changeling or a dragon on the battlefield. But even if you don't, by the time you have six mana, your hand could potentially be looking a little sparse. Lore Seeker Stone. This is a great source of repeatable card draw. The more you need it, the less it costs. Weave Fate. Season of Growth. This is a creature based deck, so you'll be scrying a lot with this. Anticipate. Mind Spring. Primal Empathy. If you didn't copy the creature on the battlefield with the highest power, then what are you doing playing Simic clones? Then you just pump it up a bit and you'll be drawing extra cards until you win. Urban Evolution. Winged Words. Opt, and Deliberate, or Deliberate, but I think it's Deliberate. English is funny that way. Winged Quattle. This is basically a creature and a combat trick in one. An opponent sees that you have mana open, but they'll assume it's to counter a spell, so they attack. Little do they know that their precious attacker is about to meet its doom. Counterspell. Look at that, it's Counterspell. Duplicant. This is a nice colorless removal spell that gives you a creature. Wilt. A null. Beast within. Over the edge. Naturalize. Return to nature. And Tide Shaper and Spreading Seas. These are here to pretty much destroy your opponent's lands. If they're not playing blue, then these cards make one of their lands useless for producing anything but generic mana. If they are playing blue, or they're pretty well fixed for the colors of mana they need, then you wait until they play a threatening non-basic land and islandize it. We got Find the Path, Ornithopter of Paradise, Sheltered Airy, Lanawar Tribe, Cultivate, Explore, Wild Growth, Replicating Ring, if the game goes long enough, this can turn into eight additional mana rocks. Marleaf Pixie and Farhaven Elf. Note the lack of Soul Ring, that is because this is a green deck and green really doesn't need the help, that much fast mana. But hey, if you want to put it in yours, that's fine. Kiga or Kaiga the Tide Star. Originally this video was going to be about a deck with this creature as the commander, but it seemed like a lot more fun to build with Morit and have another color to work with. Chrome Replicator. This is just here to take advantage of all the clones. I didn't think I'd be able to use this card in a commander deck, but sometimes it's cool to be wrong. And Regrowth. We got Forests and Islands, of course. Thespian Stage. This land follows the spirit of this deck nicely with its ability to become a copy of any land on the battlefield. Vesuva. Like with Thespian Stage, this can copy any land on the battlefield, but unlike the stage, it can only do it once, and it gets any ETB drawbacks of the land it copies like entering the battlefield tapped. Rejuvenating Springs. 
Command Beacon, Vine Glimmer Snarl, Lotus Field. This land's drawback isn't too bad if you sacrifice two lands that have been tapped for mana. Or you could sacrifice Marit and another land if you decided to make him enter the battlefield as a land. Command Tower, Mystic Sanctuary, Path of Ancestry. Since Marit is every creature type in all zones, using this to cast any creature spell will let you scry one. Rogue's Passage, Temple of the False God, and Quandrix Campus. So there it is, that is my Marit of the Frost deck. It's basically your opponent's decks, or any mixture of your opponent's decks. So tell me what you think, as long as you think good, nice, complimentary things, or helpful, critical things, whatever. Just give me comments, give me engagement. See you next time.